Hi. Hello. How are you doing? Grade one, grade two, grade three. It's nice to see you. Some of you know me. My name's Mr. Johnson, and I am one of the grade five teachers. Um, and the reason I'm sending this message is grade five kind of needs your help. Now, some of you will know. Let's this down here. We have a thing in grade five called the exhibition. Now, some of you probably saw this last year, and if you're in grade three, you've probably seen two of these. If you're in grade one, this might be new to you. So I'm going to explain what it is, and then I'm going to explain how we, we would like you to help us if you can. So, so what is the exhibition? Well, the exhibition is kind of the last big project, the last big thing that grade five students do before they uh, move into the middle years program or the MYP. So it, it kind of brings their time in, in, the, in the primary years to a close. And so it's, it's, quite, it's, it's quite a big deal for them. You know, this is, this is the last big thing they'll do before they go away for the summer. And when they come back, they're MYP students and it's a little different. So it kind of brings the, the, you know, this, this part of their school life to an end. Now, if you, get, if you stay here a few more years, you'll be the ones doing the exhibition might even be me teaching you but anyway we'll see so it's so it's a it's a kind of a big deal and it's a long project it takes about eight weeks from start to finish and what happens is the students choose their line of inquiry they choose the thing that they're interested in and they uh, and they sort of find out about it and they kind of if there's problems they kind of try and come up with solutions uh, but part of it is that they share it with the rest of the school and that includes you guys so as i said it's shared with students and also with parents so this is something which is uh, you know it's it's it's, uh, it's a big occasion now normally you might have seen the exhibition and sometimes it usually looks a bit like this you know, we have these exhibition boards in the hall, which they make all the displays for, and they kind of show us what they've learned. Sometimes they kind of like dress up, or they have models to show, and they sort of stand there and they explain what they've learned to the students and the parents. But it's not going to be like this this year, because coronavirus. Yeah, you know, it's not a good idea to have lots and lots of children. Um, all sort of in the same place at the same time and lots of parents too. So what we're going to do is we are going to do it online. So now what's the central idea, the thing which they've all been kind of looking into is this. Sort of advances in technology can solve and create problems. So everyone has, now they've all gone off in different directions. Some people are doing stuff about um 3d printing other people have done stuff about sort of self-driving cars there's loads of different things but they've all started from this idea of technology that it can make our lives better but it can also make our lives worse sometimes so we're going to use something called flipgrid i'm guessing you guys don't know too much about flipgrid when i asked your teachers they weren't too sure so i guess you don't know too much either flipgrid's really good Flipgrid lets the students, they can show their exhibitions, um, they can record them, they can put up all the slides and all the pictures and stuff they want to show while they talk. And the lovely thing is that other students and parents can say what they think straight back to them. So this is really useful. Right. Um, so how can you help? Well, this is going to be shared on Friday. So Friday mornings is all going to start. Now, one of the things which makes you guys really special for the exhibition is that the grade five students have been asked to make this exhibition work for everyone in the school from grade one to grade 10 and, and parents as well. So what they're going to do is they're going to be making a special version just for you guys. So you're going to get your own special videos different from everybody else. Also, they're going to share a folder with you, so that will let you see their video. And the folder will have something that looks a bit like this on the front. Move me out of the way. And also, in that folder, there will be some um, learning activities. Now, they might be things that are done on paper. So it might be things like jigsaw puzzles, or crosswords, or board games. Uh, but they should all be things which help you guys to learn. So what we really need from you is can you tell us or tell your teachers what you thought of the learning activities 
and once, and you know, that will that will help us. So if you can give us some feedback and tell us what you liked, what could have been better, what didn't work, that would really really help the grade fives. Okay, I think I've probably talked for long enough, so I'm going to say thank you very much, um, and uh, we really really look forward to hearing from you guys. Okay, have a good day. Bye bye.